Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. The IELTS letter sample in this lesson is a letter to make an arrangement. I take you through the whole process of writing it step by step. Here's what the lesson includes. The question structure, the letter structure, formal or informal, how to tell the difference, the greeting and sign off, and how to generate ideas. It also includes two sample letters. First, the structure of the question. All questions for IELTS letters have the same structure. They made up of three parts. Part one is the topic, part two the person you must write to, and part three what you should write about, which is listed as three bullet points. Here's a sample question for a letter to make an arrangement, with the three parts illustrated. I'll read the question for you first. You want to book a hotel recommended to you for a family holiday at the seaside. Write a letter to the hotel manager to make arrangements. Explain what accommodation you require and when you want to stay. Ask what will be included in the price and inquire about activities and places of interest near the hotel. The first sentence gives the topic of the question, which is that you want to book a hotel. The second sentence tells you who you should write the letter to, in this case the hotel manager. The three bullet points tell you what you should write about. You explain what accommodation you require and when you want to stay. You need to ask what will be included in the price. And you need to inquire about activities and places of interest near the hotel. Understanding the different parts of the question will help you to quickly analyse and plan your answer. To help you plan, use the letter structure I'm about to show you. For a full lesson on planning, study my lesson on how to plan IELTS letters. I put a link to it in the notes below this video. The layout of your letter should follow the structure of the question and consist of four paragraphs with a greeting at the beginning and a sign off at the end. Use this easy to remember six part structure. Start with the greeting, which will be dear, whoever you're writing to. In paragraph one, state the purpose of the letter, that is, your reason for writing. In paragraph two, write about bullet point one. In paragraph three, write about bullet point two. And in paragraph four, write about bullet point three. Finally, sign off your letter. All you need to do to create your plan is to add the details from the question, like this. The person we're writing to is the hotel manager, so that's who we'll address in our greeting. Paragraph 1 is the reason or purpose for writing, which is to book a hotel recommended to you. Paragraph 2 will be about the first bullet point, which is to explain what accommodation you require and when you want to stay. Paragraph 3 will be about the second bullet point, where we'll ask what will be included in the price. And paragraph 4 will be the third bullet point, where we'll inquire about activities and places of interest near the hotel. And finally, we'll sign off the letter. IELTS letters must be written in the appropriate tone and style. There are two options. Formal, to someone you don't know or don't know well, or informal, to a friend. It's essential that you're able to identify what type of letter you're required to write. Follow this rule. If the question includes the word friend, use informal language. If the question does not include the word friend, use formal language. The person we're writing to in this question is not a friend, so we must write a formal letter. This leads us on to the opening of the letter. The greeting. There are two ways you can begin a formal letter. Use dear sir or madam if you don't know the name of the person you're writing to. Or use dear and surname if you do know their name. For example, dear Mr Smith or dear Mrs Jones. It's likely that you would not know the name of the hotel manager. Although the friend might have told you when they recommended the hotel. So, if you want to use a surname, just make one up. If you are writing an informal arrangement letter to a friend, 
you would use their name, for example, Dear John. The greeting you use will determine how you sign off the letter. For a formal letter, there are two main options. The correct one will depend on who you're addressing. If you do know their name, use Yours Sincerely. If you do not know their name, sign off with Yours Faithfully. You could also use Kind Regards. This is formal but friendly and is appropriate for most situations. It's particularly useful if you struggle to remember how to spell sincerely and faithfully. Always sign off a formal letter with your full name, for example, Jackie Spear. For an informal letter to a friend, use one of these phrases followed by your first name. All the best. See you soon. Keep in touch. For example, see you soon, Jackie. For our letter, we'll use this greeting and sign off. Dear Mrs Henson, yours sincerely, Jackie Spear. We're now ready to think up some ideas to write about. We have the guidelines of the three bullet points to help us, so this won't be difficult. You only have to write 150 words, so you won't need many ideas, but do make sure that you write about each bullet point and develop each idea fully. You don't have to have the best ideas you can possibly think of. Go with your first thoughts and don't waste time trying to think up better ideas. However, they must relate directly to the bullet points. Note them beside each bullet point on the exam paper like this. For explain what accommodation you require and when you want to say, I've noted down double room and twin room for two sons. For ask what will be included in the price, I've jotted down breakfast, pool, gym and spa. And for inquire about activities and places of interest near the hotel, I've written down walks and historic buildings. So those are my ideas. That's our planning complete. Once you've had some practice, you'll be able to do this in just a few minutes. Taking time to plan makes writing IELTS letters far quicker and easier than if you don't do this step. You'll also write a better letter and get higher marks. We're now ready to start writing our letter. Here's our plan again, with all our notes added. Pause the video if you want to spend a few minutes studying it. We've already decided on the greeting, so we'll start with paragraph 1. In the first paragraph, you must state the reason for writing the letter, that is, its purpose. In our question, it's to book hotel rooms. Many students make the mistake of missing this purpose sentence out, but it's very important. Including it will gain you marks. It only requires one sentence. For example, A friend has recommended your excellent hotel and I am writing to inquire about vacancies in April next year. And here's a top vocabulary tip. Do not use contractions in formal letters. They are in formal language. So, do not write, I'm writing to inquire. In the second paragraph, you write about bullet point one, which is, explain your accommodation needs and say when you want to stay. My idea for this is that I want a double room and a twin room for my two sons. Remember to keep the language formal. You could write something like this. We would like to stay from the 5th to the 11th of April and require two ensuite rooms, a double for myself and my husband and a twin room for our two teenage sons. Sea views would be preferable. The third paragraph should cover the second bullet point, which is to ask what the price includes. My idea for this was that I wanted to know about breakfast, the pool, the gym and the spa. You could write something like this. I have been told that you do a very good breakfast. Please could you let me know if it is included in the price. My friend has also informed me that you have a lovely swimming pool, a well-equipped gym and spa facilities. Is there an extra charge for using these? If so, I would be grateful if you could send me details. 
Paragraph 4 addresses a third bullet point, which is to inquire about activities and places of interest nearby. My idea for this was to ask about walks and historic buildings to visit. Here's the idea developed into a paragraph. We are all keen walkers and hope to do some hiking while we are staying with you. Do you have any maps or guidebooks available for guests to borrow? My husband and I also enjoy visiting historic houses. Are there any in the area that you would recommend? Now we just need to add the sign-off we decided on earlier and our letter is complete. This letter needs one final sentence to round it off. For example, I look forward to receiving your reply and to confirming our booking if these dates are available. Now we just need to add the sign-off phrase we decided on earlier and our letter is finished. Here is our finished letter of arrangement. Pause the video and read through it. Note how all the elements come together and the ideas flow from one to the next. This is what you're aiming for in your letter. To get some practice writing this type of letter, write a letter for the question on this slide. This letter is to a friend, so must be written in an informal tone and style. Use the planning structure I've just shown you to plan before you start writing. You and your friend have booked tickets to go to the theatre. You are now unable to go, but have found another friend to accompany him or her instead. Write a letter to your friend. In the letter, explain why you can no longer go to the theatre with your friend, say who is able to go instead of you, and tell them why you think this person would be good to go with. Here's a sample letter for this practice question. Can you identify the language and grammar structures I've used to make it informal? Note the use of contractions, which I didn't use in the formal letter. You'll find lessons on other common IELTS letter topics on the website and my YouTube channel. I've put a link to the IELTS writing menu page, where you'll find all the lessons in the notes below this video. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye for now.